Whether you're new to Rocketbook or have been reusing their synthetic notebooks for years, it's easy to overlook what I've come to think is one of their best products, the printable page templates that they give away for free on the Rocketbook website. Now, one of the big benefits of Rocketbook's notebooks is that they're reusable, allowing you to write, scan, then erase your notes, knowing that they've been backed up to the cloud storage destination of your choice should you ever need to reference them again. And while, after years of reusing them, I can attest to the benefit of not having a physical stack of old notebooks at home, you can accomplish the same thing for free with their printable pages. In fact, the only real difference to the workflow is that instead of erasing your notebooks, which can be a little tedious, you simply recycle the paper and print a new page, which actually takes less time. Now, here it's worth acknowledging that Rocketbooks are sometimes described as eco-friendly because they offset the use of many paper notebooks over their lifetime. But without having more details on the manufacturing process of their plastic components and knowing how long on average they last, which varies depending on how well you care for them, I think it's hard to say which is actually better, the offset or recycling. So, in this video, I want to focus more so on the experience of using the free printable pages because after trying them for a few months, I've come to believe that they may be one of the best options in the Rocketbook lineup, whether you're new to Rocketbook or not. You can access Rocketbook's free printable pages by following the link in the description to pdfs.getrocketbook.com. Here you can individually download the letter size templates of the four main page layouts, the dot grid, lined, graph, and music pages, as well as a goal agreement template and a few Rocket-themed coloring sheets. Alternatively, by following the See All Free Pages button, you get access to a shared Dropbox folder, which also contains the four main layouts in A4 size. Just make sure you're using the correct page size for the paper that you're gonna print with, because letter pages are slightly wider and shorter than A4 pages, and the Rocketbook app knows which template size is being scanned, so it automatically squeezes and stretches your pages to fit the associated aspect ratio. These pages are great, but they're really just a starting point. Rocketbook has a few blogs that share additional user-created templates and that explain how you can make your own using any PDF viewer with editing capabilities. To make this a little easier though, I've created PowerPoint files that have the four standard page patterns, as well as a blank page version, as the master slide backgrounds, so that you can easily construct templates or build your own printable pre-arranged notebooks by simply inserting whichever page pattern you want as a new slide. I've done this for both the letter and A4 versions, and I've also scaled down the A4 page to an A5 size, which at 210 by 148 millimeters is a reasonable substitute to Rocketbook's executive size notebooks. These are the ones that I use the most. I've shared a link to these notebook building files in the description below, they can be used with either PowerPoint or Google Slides. Simply add the page pattern you want, then insert lines, boxes, text, or whatever you please to create your own templates. More on this in another video, perhaps. While I prefer the speed of recycling and reprinting rather than erasing a synthetic notebook, there are a variety of pros and cons associated with using these free printable pages. First, Buying paper and some method of binding the pages, whether it's a bound notebook or a three ring binder, will probably be more expensive than just buying a rocket book in the long run. Though in exchange for this, you can print as many pages as you need, and it allows you to try out binding systems that may be better than Rocketbook's standard plastic coil. Personally, I've designed my own notebook covers that I 3D print and bind with flexible filament, these are similar to the Rocketbook substitute covers that I shared in my last video, though if you're not interested in these, there are a lot of cool A4 and A5 Japanese coil systems that allow you to easily swap pages on the fly, like this campus binding from Kakuyo. Additionally, if you're going to be printing two-sided, I would recommend using heavier weight paper, like these 65 pound sheets that I've been using. They're a little thicker than standard paper, which makes it less likely that your ink or patterns from the backside will be visible through the page when you go to scan them. Speaking of ink, 
The other major benefit of using the free printable pages is that you can use any pens, pencils, and highlighters that you want, even fountain pens, not just the Pilot Friction ink that must be used with Rocketbook synthetic paper. Personally, I still find myself using friction pens most of the time for my agenda work because I like being able to erase things when I make a mistake. But if you're frustrated with a friction pen's feel or lifespan, this is a huge benefit. Oh yeah, and I can guarantee that the writing experience will feel like pen on paper because, well, it is. As much as I like the gel texture of Rocketbook's synthetic pages, it's hard to beat the real thing. This also means that you don't need to wait long for your ink to dry. So smudging, which is a common concern in Rocketbook's synthetic pages, is no longer an issue, making this the most lefty-friendly Rocketbook product. Having said that, these free printable pages don't include a smart title block or a tag section, like some of Rocketbook's more recent products, which would be nice. Though, you can still embed your handwritten titles within a set of double hashtags to have the app auto-title your scans, and you can apply tags manually during the scanning process. You'll also notice that the printable page patterns are not as faint as they are on the Rocketbook synthetic pages. This means that when scanned, the patterns remain visible, which is something that you may or may not like. Personally, I don't mind seeing the page structure. More concerning is the fact that the printed pages for some reason have these strange light gray headers and footers in the scanned files, which for some reason aren't cropped out. They don't impact the usable page space, as everything within the black border and above the destination icons is visible, but it's just a little strange. Having said that, for me, the benefits of printable pages outweigh any quirks or shortcomings that I've noticed to date. Whether you're just trying to figure out if the Rocketbook system makes sense for you, or you're a longtime Rocketbook user, I think there's a case to be made for trying out the company's free printable pages. They provide almost all the benefit of Rocketbook's reusable notebooks, as well as some traditional pen and paper benefits of their own. Overall, I've been pleasantly surprised with my experience moving between Rocketbook's reusable notebooks and these free printable pages, for me, the biggest benefits have been the time saving of recycling rather than erasing my notebooks, and the freedom that comes with designing my own agenda templates without the fear of ruining one of my synthetic pages should I decide to make an alteration in the future. If you're interested in creating your own printable page templates for the Rocketbook ecosystem, I've left a link to my PowerPoint templates in the description below. Feel free to check them out and let me know what you design. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.